configure a VPN connection, you have been asked to add a VPN connection to one of your organizational laptop PCs. The sales team uses this computer to deliver sales presentations. They need to establish a secure connection to the company network while working on the road. You need to choose a VPN type that operates using firewall ports that are commonly left open. You also need to use the most secure password based authentication possible without using a smart card. Okay, so let's work on this. So let's go on Windows. Let's go on settings. Click on network and internet. Then go to the VPN, add the VPN. So let's add the details that we've got over here. So make sure that it ticked the Windows built in. And then let's copy and paste. So the name is sales VPN add it over here then let's also copy the server ip address let's add it then it says the vpn type it needs to be the secure socket tunnel when you connect on a vpn it's really secure because it's like being connected inside the tunnel it's only yourself right so it's really secure now when it comes to the type of signing in obviously we want a username and a password so let's add those details which you've got them over here so let's copy the name paste it and then let's do the same thing for the password and then remember to untick right because it says over here that it does not want Windows, don't allow Windows to remember the authentication credentials, right? So therefore you need to untick um, remember my sign in info, then click on save. All right, so we've done this bit. And then it says set the VPN securely, security properties. So set the VPN security properties to meet the following requirement. So let's do that. Let's go back to network and internet. Let's go to advanced network settings, then scroll down and click on more network adapter and options. Once you're here, right click on your mouse on sales VPN and click on properties and then let's go to security. So we've got the type of VPN is selected, that's the right one that we need. But then it says authentication, it to be Microsoft secured. So click over here and then change it to the right one, which is the second option. Then click on OK. So we're done with this. Let's go back to network and internet. And now let's try to connect to the VPN. So let's add the name and the password that we have. And then Click OK and it's connected. So now it's perfect. Let's score the lab and see what we've got. And it's 100.